All right. Hey, curious here, and I'm gonna try to cut it really short, not to make a freaking 18 minute video. Sorry for that last video. I'm for all the people who freaking even clicked on it, but I want to explain. Uh, I, I see. I can't do it really fast when I'm trying to say it really quick. It just you know it gets all jumbled up and stuff. But anyway, the Arcadia Initiative. All right. Basically, this is my version of new urbanism with bio or bio waste incorporated into it with passive solar and uh, wind, as well as uh, yeah, into uh, a uh, gee, that's just so special. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh incorporated into a civics type structure or organization that is kind of like new urbanism but it takes out even though it has mixed economy it takes out some of the things that are flaws like central uh, mass buildings like in the Venus project because one of the things with the Venus pro problem with the Venus Project and New Urbanism is that I'm looking over. I started at 205, you know, and it's 27. Um, my time is that <coughs> once one thing uh, gives out, like a shopping center goes bust or something, that building is just there dormant, and it's no good. What you need is to, for it to be compartmentalized. Is that right? Not compartmentalized, but a uh, component where things can come in and things can go out. In other words, like streets and blocks and cities. You know, where something can fail and something else can be, it can be torn down, taken out, something else put in. You know, and that's the key. Look, I got my old Star Wars, uh, 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 pointer. Remember this one in a few videos? Haven't seen this in a while, huh? Well, that's because I pulled out my old dartboard and I wanted to show you use this as a pointer to show you what it was about. And that's basically it's a dartboard design. Now, very simply if I could do this the center here the, the bullseye is your urban area and these is this is like a whole county this is the county the black part is the county and that's the urban area that's where all the computers the technology the high society city hall high culture all the things are okay now here is the suburban areas right that lead into the big central hub you know it's where you got all your futurist cars and and you know the elitism and the big tall buildings and solar chimney well no that one well I have to think about that one uh, yeah solar chimneys maybe you know although they might be on the outskirts I'll get to that in a minute now out here or out here, I haven't decided which because there's problems with bio waste. And they, mostly is that once the, if there's a fuel to, uh, fuser, if there's a filter malfunction, it uh it messes up. It, it smells, basically. It stinks like burnt cat. You know, this is from the uh uh bio uh uh the cartridge plant. Uh, renewable energies thermal depolymerization was a great idea but if it doesn't have filters and you're trying to do it on a competitive basis against uh, fossil fuels well you run into problems and so that just it has to have filters so it's probably better being out here and and this would be where power resources and waste resources would go. 
Unfortunately, well, yeah, you see, that's the problem because you want the energy close as you can get to your suburban and urban center. But if you're using bio waste, you want it closest to your crops because this is like the urban area. And these are like different districts, you see. This is just a crude analogy, but it's really a good one for the type of idea I'm talking about. Uh, so, basically these would be power centers. These would be growing areas where small farms could grow. And um, maybe these would be... Oh, maybe this would be the passive power center. And the food co-ops you know where all your major uh, uh, urban distributors are it gets more rural as you go see and then uh, that could be the food distribution networks and then that could be you know off to the different districts and that way it makes it component compartmentalized no not compartmentalized uh it makes it um what was I saying computer no oh, god it makes it where it has uh uh compartments that can be taken out and putting in you know so if this district grows more agriculturally here and here and here and of course this won't be ever really be a solid bullseye because you'll have areas that produce more you have areas that uh, uh, just uh, have natural resources like waterfalls or dams or you know or desert areas so or water areas so you'll you'll have these congregating more towards water areas these ag areas here see but basically this is the general principle whether it forms a full circle or not and then this is a county-wide thing this would be the city limits and this would be the suburban and then this would be the metropolitan hub and that's what you do you homogenize things okay I'm getting into about 10 minutes now so I'm gonna cut it off homogenize things that will go from city to city to city and try to uh, displace populations into each so you have like hot houses and food banks uh, which are like skyscrapers that are like hothouses, but they have levels to them so you can grow food hydroponically, vertically, if you see. And with cheap materials from plastics, from bio waste, <clears throat> then you have everything is just about renewable or has a reclamation value. That's the Arcadia Initiative in a nutshell. Using bio waste, wind, solar, and food crops. Which go from uh, a grower's subsidy from the bad, the foods that don't turn out the best or need to be recalled, and then go to um, the best crops go in to feed the people. And then that waste from uh, the utilities uh, and municipals comes out and is recycled into power out here, I guess. Since you can't have it here because that's right next to a suburban area. <clears throat> Something like that. Anyway, that's ten minutes of that. I Hopefully this file isn't too big. And this isn't too long. I hope that was entertaining. 
that's my idea of new urbanism, which I should call new suburbanism, but no one would know what the hell I was talking about. So, new urban suburbanism. There you go. And that's the Arcadia Initiative. Arcadia means balance between man and nature. And that's what I think would lead to more civil rights, more egal economic egalitarianism, and a better social justice because we have the resources and the social or the resources to invest in social capital to make those resources. Okay, there it is. Cure us out. <laughs>